Hey everybody. So in this video, I want to do a review of the Power Rangers Lightning Collection Dino Charge Blue Ranger. So I just ordered this figure off of Amazon. I've had it pre-ordered in a couple different places, but when I saw that it was in stock on Amazon and I had some Amazon gift card money, the chance to get this figure for free, I jumped on it. So I just took this out of the Amazon box. Uh, it's been outside, so it's really cold. Um, probably won't be able to move around the joints too, too much, but I still wanted to do this review because I'm really excited about opening this one up and checking it out. And I wanted to do it on the channel. So here we go. So I did cut the tape off the bottom. I always open Lightning Collection boxes from the bottom because it's just what I do. Now, of course, we've got plastic free packaging um, and there's the front artwork. It looks really nice. Here is the side and here is the back. It shows the figure and what we get with it. And if anybody needs the barcode, there you go. And on the side of the box, it just says Dino Charge Blue Ranger, a little bit more artwork. I do like the way this looks. It's just, you know how it goes. You, you, you know, toy collectors these days, we know the whole plastic free packaging. I don't need to harp on that. It is a shame that he's not going to match with the other Dino Charge Rangers. But, you know, at this point, what can we do? We don't need to harp on that. So let's get the figure out of here. Of course, it's what we're getting used to. I suppose it's this, uh, this cardboard that holds the figure in the little tissue boxes. So this is loose right here. All right, so this, we don't need that. And then here's all the accessories. I'm gonna go ahead and check those out now. Hopefully everything is in here. Hopefully it's not damaged. The thing I care the most about is the helmet. And it looks like we are good. It looks like we've got a good helmet here. I don't see any paint marks or scratches. The front looks really nice. So that's great. The hands, I know people have been getting like the same two hands or the wrong hands, but these are, these are good. Two gripping hands, they're left and a right. Here is the lightning effect, which was kind of wrapped around the morpher. So this is good, this is fine. The morpher is kind of neat because it has more paint than we usually get. So. There's his morpher and his sword is bent as we're getting used to here. It's not bent terribly. This will be easy to fix. This will be a, you know, it's not a big deal kind of thing, but we've definitely gotten worse bent weapons because of the plastic free packaging. All right, and let's get the figure out. So try to do this without totally destroying the packaging, but I don't think it's going to be possible. I'm going to have to rip this part open, I guess. So let me go ahead and get this open here. And we're going to check out the figure. All right, so he here's Coda. Face sculpt looks pretty good. The paint on the emblem is a little bit scratched up so i'm not terribly happy with that but it's not horrible it's just got some paint marks on it the rest of the figure looks pretty good here not seeing any major paint issues like i said he's really really cold so i don't really want to be bending him around too much yet i'm going to do another uh video and i'm going to put the video together with all my other dino charge rangers but i will say he is a little wobbly here in the hips, um, which is a very common issue that lots of us have been seeing with these pinless joints. You can see how kind of messed up his legs were in the packaging, like they're kind of like bent from being in the packaging. So um, it looks warped, but I think it's just because the leg is how it is. There is a little bit of a difference in the blue between like the upper and lower leg. Um, and it's, it's turning okay. Like I said, he is like super cold, but he, he seems to be turning all right. I'm curious to see if, uh, he stands because if you watch, um, 
some of the reviews, you can't even really get him to stand up correctly. And I can already tell that I'm having some issues here with the hips. Uh, they're not terrible. I'm going to see if I can maybe tighten these hips a little bit somehow. I'm not sure how much it's going to help. But yeah, it's, uh, it's really... It's, it's, it honestly, it feels weird. Like it just, I don't know how to even describe it. It just, it's gotta be these drop down hips and related to um, the pinless knees. Cause look at that, like that is not good. Like he is super, super wobbly. I'm gonna try to maybe put like some clear nail polish down in here and see if that helps. Cause obviously I want the hips to still work, but it's, uh, you know, I really don't need the drop down hips if they're going to cause this problem of him, you know, not even be able to stand up. Uh, so, you know, I'm a little disappointed with some of the paint marks here. It's not terrible. I might be able to touch it up just a little bit. Um, but once he uh, warms up, I'm going to do another video with him and all of my other Dino Charge Rangers and all of my custom figures. I can't wait to take some pictures. Yeah, I still can't get him to stand up. Uh, so, yeah, so uh, we're going to work on this guy. We're going to hopefully get him looking good for the next video, and uh, I'll see you then. Thanks for watching. Hey, everybody. So this is a continuation of my review of the Dino Charge Blue Ranger, part of the Power Rangers Lightning Collection. And I definitely had some issues with mine. I think that it's becoming more and more of a problem with the Power Rangers Lightning Collection figures from Hasbro, where the it seems like these pinless bodies are really loose in the hips, and it's definitely causing some issues. As far as any other QC problems, um, it's it's fine. It's good. Um, the uh, chest emblem with the Stegosaurus is a little bit uh, messed up, but it's, it's fine. It's all right. So what I did with this figure, um, I was trying to figure out a way to make the hips a little bit more stable and just allow for some more dynamic posing with the figure because his hips were so loose that he kept kind of falling off to the side or just not standing up perfectly straight. So what I did is I put some sticky tack down in the hole of the hip pegs, which you can see in there, and it just made the hips a little tighter. So he stands more stable. He's not as wobbly. The other thing I did, which I've done with many of these, is I painted the top of the hands, which are supposed to be like claws, I guess they're supposed to be claws at least, painted those silver because they are supposed to be silver um, to be more show accurate. And the only figure that got the uh, silver paint on the hands was um, Tyler, which is the first release uh, from Dino Charge, the Red Ranger. So, do a comparison here, speaking of Tyler. Here he is next to Blue Ranger Coda. And you can see that there is a very slight difference in the front part here. The uh, yellow triangles are um, a little bit, I guess, smaller in the uh, Red Ranger figure, the Blue Ranger figure, you can tell because the black lines between the triangles are a little skinnier. That's really fine. Like, it's really not that big of a deal. Uh, there's also a slight difference in like the shoulder um, pauldron thing, but the yellow color is also different. Um, you know, it's, it's fine. I mean, I'm more concerned with the wobbly hits that we keep getting. Um, the uh, Time Force Blue Ranger was also, you know, having some issues there with the wobbly hips. Um, but honestly, these guys look good together. So I'm not really having too much of a uh, major, major issue. 
Um, so let's see, I think, and I'm sure that you guys will let me know if I'm wrong there in the comments, but I think the next figure that we got was the Gold Ranger, which is Sir Ivan. And for the Gold Ranger, um, I just, I really love this character in the Dino Charge season. And it's a shame because I actually had to paint the neck there because the neck was not white like it was supposed to be. Um, but it's okay. I mean, I don't mind adding paint to these figures since they're, you know, fairly affordable, although they're getting more expensive. Then I think the next figure was the Black Ranger, which is Chase. And this one was an interesting one because um, he was a surprise figure. I think he was a Target exclusive and nobody knew he was coming out. Um, so he, I think, is probably the hardest one to find. Um, but it's a, it's a really nice figure. I, I just really like how the Black Ranger uh, suit looks and the helmet's really neat. Like it's a unique uh, shape to it because of, uh, you know, the Parasaurus. Um, and he looks just really, really good. And uh, the head sculpt was fantastic. I think the Chase head sculpt was the best out of all these. Um, and I don't remember, I don't think he came with that blast effect. I think somebody else came with that, maybe uh, the Pink Ranger. Um, but uh, I really like that blast effect on there because he always had you know, the, the gun, the blaster of the Morpher. The next figure we got was Riley the Green Ranger. So here he is with his sword. Riley always had the sword and Chase always had the gun. So they look really nice. Um, really, really love this Green Ranger figure too. I think it came out really, really nice. And he's really easy to find. He's been all over the place, at least at Walmart. So I've been seeing him. I still kind of see him sometimes at Walmart. Um, and then we got Pink Ranger Shelby. So there she is. Um, the uh you know pinless female body which uh she's okay sometimes she has some trouble standing but um overall she's uh, been pretty good and she of course came with her unique ranger weapon which uh nobody else came with except for uh gold ranger and uh yeah some people feel a certain kind of way about that but i'm all right with it i mean it's nice to have something a little different um and you can see that you know all these others i've painted their hands silver but the other reason I'm doing this video is because I'm really excited to share the rest of the team. And that's right. I said the rest of the team because um, I actually have done custom figures of the other four Rangers. Um, and if you have been following me on Instagram or watching my channel, you know maybe about some of these. So the first custom I'm gonna show is the Purple Ranger, Kendall. And she was made off of uh, Shelby's body and a uh, Red Ranger head. So this is actually uh, the, the Red Ranger's helmet on the Pink Ranger's body. Um, of course, I painted all the pink purple the helmet needed a little bit of sculpting and a little bit of modification. And of course, doing the chest emblems are really the hardest part of all these customs. But I think that the Purple Ranger, I think the Purple Ranger probably came out the best out of all of my customs. So next I will show the Graphite Ranger, which is Prince Philip. So this one was um, quite a lot of work. Um, this is, I'm trying to think now um, whose head I used for this. Um, I think this was uh, the Pink Ranger's helmet and the Red Ranger's body because I got a second Pink Ranger and then I bought another uh, Red Ranger figure on eBay that was pretty cheap because he was kind of scratched up and didn't have any accessories. But all I needed was the Red Ranger figure because I needed the body for the Graphite Ranger and then the head for the Purple Ranger. Um, because if you if you look up their helmets, I mean, I did the best I could to make the helmets screen accurate. 
Um, but there were more similarities with the graphite ranger helmet and the pink ranger helmet, and then, you know, vice versa with the red ranger and the purple ranger. So luckily I got all of them to work pretty good. Again, doing the chest emblems was really challenging, but I got it done. So next is going to be the Aqua Ranger, which is Tyler's dad. Um, this one is all the body of a Green Ranger figure. So I got a second Dino Charge Green Ranger and made him up to be the Aqua Ranger. So just painted all these different shades of blue, had to paint the chest gold, paint the morpher gold, and then again, the chest emblem and the sculpting on the head was definitely the most challenging. Um, so I am happy with the uh, shade of blue that the new um, you know, Blue Ranger Coda figure has because I was curious how it would look you know, with the aqua because you, you never kind of know how Hasbro is going to make the blue, the shade of blue, um, like the Mighty Morphin Blue and the Dino Thunder Blue, um, Time Force Blue, they all had like different shades of blue. So I was like, I really don't want to repaint this Aqua Ranger, but if he came out looking too much like the Blue Ranger, then I probably would have to. But luckily the shade of blue on Coda is nice and dark, and I think that it's a great contrast with the Aqua Ranger. And then the last custom I did, which I was not going to do, um, and then, you know, once Coda was kind of officially announced and once we knew he was coming out, I knew that eventually I was going to have to do this. So here is the Silver Ranger. So the Silver Ranger was a lot of work because unlike all the other rangers who have, you know, silver, you know, throughout their suits, you know, the front and the, you know, the uh, gloves and the boots, like they all have those silver kind of accents. So if you, you know, look at all the other rangers, they all have silver. But the silver ranger has gold accents. So everything on this figure that was silver, I had to paint gold. And then uh, this is uh, another Green Ranger figure. So I used the Green Ranger uh, figure to do aqua and silver. So you can kind of compare all those together like in terms of the body. But as you can see, I had to do all this gold and then I had to paint all of the silver in. And then I did the arms in uh, the same uh, gray that I used for the Graphite Ranger just so there's a little bit of difference between the arms and the rest of the costume. Um, and then I had to do sculpting on the helmet, of course, and then repaint the front of the helmet, which was a lot of work too. Um, and the, the teeth didn't come out great on this one, but it, it's fine. Uh, this custom was, like I said, a lot of work. Um, but now I have the full Dino Charge team. So, um, what is it, 10, I guess? Yeah, so all 10 Rangers. Um, and I'm very happy with it. Uh, again, the customs were a lot of work. Um, but now that we finally have Coda, the team is complete. And I think they look fantastic. So um, I believe that there's going to be a video coming out somewhat soon on the channel Toku Topics, which is, uh, you know, run by Josh. I'm sure if you're a Power Ranger fan, you probably follow Josh on, uh, you know, Twitter or on YouTube. And uh, we have kind of teamed up just a little bit here to give all of you a video about Power Rangers Dino Charge. So I'm not sure when that video is going to get posted to Josh's channel, which again is Toku Topics. Um, but hopefully it'll be somewhat soon after I'm posting this video of all of my Dino Charge Rangers. So let me know what you think of this team and please make sure you check out the channel Toku Topics.
Thanks a lot for watching and have a great day.